more question. Yeah. I have a question. I have a, I have a question. Because let, let, let me pose our guest a question. All right? Because we got a guest here, and, and um, I guess obviously people watching, people are going to see this in the future, they're going to realize that our guest is visually impaired. You know what I'm saying? Now, we all talk about seeing skin color. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to ask you, my man, Ooh. Jordan, do you, do you actually, do you see skin color? To a certain extent. To a certain extent. So you, so you, you have like, you have, I guess, uh, very close vision or... Yeah, I'm, I'm very nearsighted. Very, very nearsighted. Okay. But for the most part, you have the perspective of being able to see the world almost like, like seeing people for who they are as opposed to what yeah, color they are. You know what I'm yeah, saying? You know. So, yeah. so, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's your, your thoughts on race and, and culture and certain things? Like, you know what I mean? Different races and whatnot coming from that perspective. Because, again, we're going from the very superficial, yeah. almost yeah. seeing the skin so, like, aspect. Like, a little, you know what I'm saying? Very detail, like, maybe give me an example. Well, what I mean is, 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 you know what I'm saying, like, we live in, I would say we live in a very black and white color world, and that's just because we have two eyes, so we see things as, 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 you know, black or white, you know what I'm saying, but okay. you as somebody who doesn't necessarily have the ability to, to visualize or see that, not, not visualize, but see, you know what I'm saying, things in the black and white, yeah. physical, you know what I mean, like, what is your take I mean, on, on, race, on race? race doesn't really matter. There exactly. you go. You know? Should it? Race, race never Culture matters. Right. Race no, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. But, yeah. Like, uh, you know, I, shit, I have friends of all different races. You know? Can you even? I'm, I guess obviously, again, you can tell what race they are. But I mean, is that? I mean, in your community, is 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 there border lines that are drawn around race? Do you guys even care about the race of each other? Are you more just like you know, like fuck it, man, like we're in this me, together. Like the people I know and all that. Obviously, yeah. You know, they're not. They're not like that. There's always. Growing up, I grew up in Sudbury. Right. You know, like, I'd be lying if, 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 if um, I said we didn't have to deal with any of that shit. Oh, for up. sure. Like, I've been to Sudbury a few times. Yeah. yeah. Nickel City, Nickel Town. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah shout out to Chaz. A lot of disenfranchised <coughs> people with no jobs. But I mean, yeah. as somebody yeah. who, who, who doesn't even have to see the Ooh, superficial... Really does that even, you know what I'm saying? Like, does, it, I mean, you're, you're seeing it from, the, you're seeing life for what it really is, where that shouldn't even matter. I mean, in my, in, from my perspective, you know what I mean? Yeah. If you get what I'm saying, or what I'm trying to, trying to allude to. I want to ask a question too, and I don't want to come off as ignorant, but I'm just curious from the sense of like, because I look at everything right, like, to me, through my beliefs of just researching humans and history and stuff, I believe the biggest goof of mankind is when we are convinced we need a language to communicate. Now, one thing I want to ask you is, do you, because I know, I don't know, but what I've read is that when you deal with one of your senses being impaired to some degree, that your other senses are, are enlightened. Um, when you lose one sense, you're, you're forced to use all the other ones. And I believe it's like, it's like you're training your brain. Well, you the know, thing is with you, know, right? Like, that's why I truly believe a lot of people who are seeing, uh, have, are somewhat sight impaired, a lot of times are way much better musicians than most of the rest of people because you have an enlightened sense of all your other senses. You just get more into it, you know, you're just more into it, with, you know. But like the way so. you make things sound and the way you sing, like the way, like, have you ever taken singing lessons? I think of, um, yeah, I did like, I did for like a year. A year, so not enough to really understand singing yeah. lessons. But you're, yeah, I'd able to go back into it. Just but you sent me a chorus. And you, this guy sends me a chorus. Mm -hmm. There is ten tracks. You know what they're labeled? Main. Main backup low. Main backup high. Mm -hmm. Main backup mid. Main backup left. Left <laughs> mid. <laughs> right mid. Yeah. So on and so forth. There's about twelve tracks for this yeah, yeah. chorus. When I first get it, I'm like, them. holy fuck. <laughs> but do you know what I realized while working with it? Mm -hmm. It's absolute genius. Yeah. And that's why I want to ask that if you just, ever took music because I had a feeling it's because your senses are so enlightened that you just understand that this, like, I need to do this and this tone, this pitch, this and this. Like, the way it was broken down was literally, like, professional music. Like, I've never dealt man, with anything like it before. I'll be honest with you. I'm just, like, I'm really, really crazy about being organized. Yeah. You know, like, it, that's just how I am. I like to organize everything. And I'm just, you know... It drives some people crazy, but that, that's just how I No, it's amazing. It. But the thing, like, see, and it's not even because it was so organized, but it's the fact that, like, 
Anyone I've ever had sing on a song, I might get five tracks from Tops. You sent me about double or triple that. And the way that it all sounded together, once again, like I said, it's the best chorus I have ever received for a song of mine in my life. And even you made a post one day, like Maloney and so and someone else. You're like, I'm sitting my two best hosts ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing <coughs> is, this thing you sent me, like, I want to show it to these guys, and I will after the show, but it is absolute musical genius and masterpiece. And, like, it's just the way you, like, you thought it out in your brain to put, like, all right, this is the main. This is the, like, I'm telling you guys, like, it's literally I, layers, and when yeah. it all comes together, it's not layers. You don't yeah. hear a high yeah. and the mid. You hear it's one combined. Thing. combined you yeah. hear one combined sound and yeah. 13 There's, tracks. It goes yo. into the rain. <laughs> got you <laughs> thinking about how much. When you listen to yeah. individual yeah. tracks, one's like, what you did to me. And when yeah, you listen yeah, to yeah, that, yeah. Like, you do to But yeah. when they all play together, yeah. it is just Cause yo, cause, yo, man, like, I hear shit in my head. And I just spend a little bit more time than, like, average person trying to make it work. You know, most of the time it does, you know, and then there's times where it doesn't, but it still sounds dope. Yeah. But that's, that's just what I, that's just what I go off. Like, I hear shit in my head. And that's what I'm trying to, and that's exactly what I'm trying to ask you is that if it's something that you learned or if you do it off of what feels right. And the bottom getting is that you do it off of what feels right. Yeah. And that yeah. is exactly the point I'm making is the fact that. Everything's a with your sightings like. enhanced, with, with with your senses enhanced on other sides, like you are an absolute musical genius. And every yeah. time anyone ever talks about you, like you know, you just met Mike today. I'm like, hey, shit, you don't know Mike? I'm like, this man is a musical genius. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that's the only thing I can say about you because through my experience of hearing you, seeing you live, and working with you, that's the only thing I've ever been proven to see is that you are actually just a musical genius. And I love it that the fact is that you're like just goes off what feels right. Like, yeah. it's natural. Yeah, and that's what, that's kind of, that's kind of what has been happening with my newest project. You know, I've put out, like, I'm part of this, um, I'm part of this project by, uh, that was done, it's producer James Stang. He's produced five, okay, yeah, yeah. five EPs. And I'm on one of those EPs. It's all five songs uh, with my vocals on it. And, um, it's, um, I just, you know, whatever you sent me, about 14, 15 beats, I took five. Um, and I just kind of sat there and just wrote, you know, like, for, and that, I, I don't really do that a lot, but I'm not, I'm at that point now, because, like, I'm so picky with how I, with how, how my songs are, you know, like, I can just, now I can just finally listen to my music. That's how picky. That's how hard on myself I was. Yeah, crazy. But so it's like now, when I'm at this point in my career, I can just sit there and just write. And like, as long as as long as what line I wrote makes sense, okay, cool. On to the next. And then like, but then I gotta look back at it and be like, oh shit, like I wrote about that, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's whatever feels right at the time. Yeah. Yeah, it's, man, it's, it's it's dope. Like, it's uh, it's I've never had to, I've never like really did that before. Where you're just sit there and write and just not give a shit about it. Like, and it's too super critical, right? Yeah, bro. Ninety percent of my music making career, same thing. And even still, I get it sometimes, like, especially when I'm rapping with other dudes that like spit, mm -hmm. spit. Like you know, the song I'm working on with Stitch. You know, I was like. Concentrated on each part, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I'm like, fuck, I got, you know. But like, a lot. I've found myself doing that more lately. Is when I write songs, is instead of just trying to be a good rapper and trying to prove I'm a good rapper, it just go with the flow. And sometimes, like, mm -hmm. I'm really trying not to say a whack bar, but you know what I mean. Yeah. But it's like, and, I don't and, care if there's a well, punchline, and, and you make some of the best music you ever make. Dude. Yeah, I, I gave up happened, trying to be the best lyricist all the time. That, yeah, the very last song on on this. I sat there and over, kept overthinking, overthinking, and then one day, like, this is probably, it happened the most with this song, and I just sat there and wrote and wrote, and then just recorded, and I kept doubting it, because I'm, I'm those, 
I like to plan what I'm doing. You know, to you know what I mean, yeah. right? So, but then I I sent it. I sent the EP to people that I was closely with and, and, and people that I was close with in general. And one of the popular songs was that song. The one you didn't like. The one, the one that I was doubting because I I put a little less thought into writing it than a lot of the other songs. It's a crazy thing, man. You know, and it most was, it was crazy. And, and I, you know, like I was saying earlier. I was, the conversation that I had with her at the end of that was like, it was kind of similar to that, where it's like, you know, uh, you're not, you, you don't really, you know, how do I put this, like, you just need to go with the flow of your creation. You know, yeah. You, you know, like, don't stifle yourself, you know, like. It, it, Anytime you stifle don't. yourself, it comes out force. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, continue. Right. And, and no, I, I, I agree. And it's just crazy with how like how that even came about, you know. And so it, it's I'm kind of excited for like, you know, whatever next project I'm working on because just just seeing the results from that, from this project, from those songs, you know. Bro, um, just based on that tra- track we got sitting in the thug, like I would love to just do like a little E P with you. It's six songs, each of us produced three of the tracks. Three beats, you pick a mine, you pick the direction, and then I hop on, and vice versa. You send me some beats, yeah, I pick yeah, three, like I pick the direction, and then you just hop on. Yeah. That would be dope, though. That would be cool. That, that would be, that's a crazy idea. Some shit like that's that, you know what I mean? Idea. I would love, I would, we'll talk more, obviously, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because we don't have to do this on the show, but. No, man, I just think it's super interesting. And the reason why I want to bring it up and ask, too, is because it kind of coincides with what Dustin was asking about. <laughs> judging people and seeing people on an even scale, but another question I'm kind of curious it's about, about personality. do you read energy at all? Like, can you feel the vibes? Like, when you walk in a room and there's some negative people in there, can you feel the vibes? I'm starting to. Yeah? Yeah, you know, like, I'm kind of, I gotta do a bit of work on it sort of thing, right? But I'm starting to, like, I get, um, you know, like, certain times I'll get, like, a certain vibe from somebody, you know, positive, negative, whatever, right? But it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen that much like lately. But you know, lately I've been kind of into into like stuff regarding that. Just kind of be more in tune with like everything. Yeah. With, like energies and all that. So you know, it's it's happening, and it's it's kind of throwing me off because like I'm not used to shit like that. Like yeah, where it's somebody something's telling me something about this person. Like you can trust this person. You know, like he's not gonna he or she's not gonna. Do whatever, right? So it's yeah, it's it's crazy. Well, I definitely got apologize because my energy's all the way fucked up. Today. <laughs> <laughs> it's been my energy been fucked up like kind of all week, but my energy's you absolutely. You met Jordell before, but, though, right? yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, so you know, your let, let, let me tell you, let me tell you something about Jordell, man. This motherfucker actually beat me in a competition a couple years back, yeah. and he went on to win the entire. Cause it was like a multi-month, multi-performance thing, I, I and um, right? yeah, man, you killed that. See, you killed it. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm mad listening to Jordan. Jordan. That was crazy. Though. Could you watch him perform? You'd be like, was, I'm trying so to, cool. I'm trying to dab some man. He even know. I apologize, so man. Fuck. <laughs> Bro, I've, I've actually. I've oh, no, we tried to get, listen. Now, All right, we tried to get there. You go, homie. There you go. Yes, right, sir. Right. But uh, yeah, no, you killed it that night. You know what I mean? And I know I went out there and I fucking smashed it. I was up there dancing with the audience and stuff. All of a sudden, this guy came out and he did hip hop. He did fucking reggae and he did R and B all in one set, and I'm like, yo, and trap, and I'm like, yo, what the fuck, homie? Like, yo, and yeah, you smashed that shit. Is, right? You want, you want the whole competition? Jet leaves, no? Yes, Jet yeah, Lee. Jet was killing it Made too. It to the finals. Yeah, and you guys are cousins. Oh, you guys had to go against each other. And yeah. It still didn't happen. Oh, so oh, hasn't happened? It hasn't happened. Oh no. Well, well, shout out Jet Lee. I've said shout it before. I've said it before that um my people got into a scrap with her pops, you know, one oh, night yeah, at yeah. one of Chez's shows. That, was she... mu- that got that got put in a music video too. Did it? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Where, where's this music video? How come I've never seen this? It's called Hold Up. You're seriously? It's on YouTube. I gotta find this video. I had no idea that man, yo, okay. This is crazy. Well, I gotta yo, I gotta and I was talking to the video guy, I'm like, yo, you are not gonna leave that in there, are you? Yeah. <laughs> this is this? Oh, shit. See, I didn't know there was any footage of it, bro. 
Yo, both of them hop on the computer immediately. Yeah, the I'm trying to find this shit. Is, is Jen this video? <laughs> it's like they're in a race to find this video first. Yeah. Oh, shit. That was crazy. I'm like, I can't believe you guys left that in there. That's nuts. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, it was, it's it's Jen this video? video? Please, hold up. Yeah. Oh, shit. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it's, hold up, hold up. Don't Snapchat that. And then there's a part where it's like, hold up, hold up. Did you see that? And right when, right when she oh, no. that, I'm like, yo, you guys are crazy, man. Like, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, man. oh wow. Yeah, that was a crazy night still. Yeah. Well, that's I that was. Me and my cousin Jalil were just sitting by the stage, and he's like, yeah. He's like, yo, it's. A little crazy over there, and I'm here stomping and shit. I'm like, what? The yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, my guys are pissed. They want to pull knives out and shit after, and I'm like, nah, man, you just gotta hold that one. Song. Oh shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh fuck, it's right there in the video too, eh? <laughs> what club was that at again? Uh, that was at Nocturne. Nocturne. Oh, yeah. I can't believe y'all kept that in there. You guys, are, I can't believe it. That's mad wild there. for that. That's some crazy shit. Yeah. Pop same plan, y'all. Oh, yo, yeah. that, there's the proof of the fight yeah. and everything. And yeah, man, we were fucked, man. Um, yo, they were getting turned in there. Everybody was fucking turned. That's yeah. Crazy. Yeah, it, it, you know what? That could have went really bad, really, really, really yeah. quick. And yeah. luckily, smoother, you know, cooler heads prevailed. But that yeah. had the potential to, like, mm-hmm. turn into something really, really that bad that night, bad. man. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and it was actually night that my homeboy, he, um, he got his master's degree that same day. And I was just like, damn. Oh, like, you just got your master's degree, so I had to get him out of there eventually. I'm like, yo, you can't be graduating university, getting your master's, and you're getting a scrap the same day. Like, that's just not a good look at all. But, yeah. But how, how is it, you know, how is the process making music as somebody visually impaired? You know, like, you said that ultimately you are the senses, so, you know, you, you, you rely on those a little bit better. But the actual process, what's that like, man? Like, I just, I listen to my computer. Okay. I listen to my computer. It reads what is on the screen. And okay. I, there. I barely even, I don't really use the mouse. Okay. I use the keyboard. And uh, I, use a, I use a program called Reaper. Okay. Which, uh, you know, not, not that popular, but, I mean, this is this is all the crazy mixes that, that, that come from. Okay. That I work on and all that stuff. So, um, I just listen to my computer. I pull up, you know, if it needs a compressor. If it needs the EQ, if it needs whatever. Yeah. You know, then, then I'm able to do that. Okay. Okay, dope. That's proper, man. Nice, man. Okay, so you got basically you get the program does it for you and you're good to go from there. Yeah, you know, I got I got all my gear, you know, I got my keyboards, my drum pads, all that stuff. Yeah. And, you know, I got my microphones, you know. So it's just I got everything I need and whether it's a beat or a mix, it's just there. Nice. That's what's up, man. Because I always kind of wondered that, you know what I mean? Like, what the process was like yeah. and whatnot. And, like, a lot of times, like, I got my studio portable. Okay. So every time I come, like, every time I go and travel, I bring my shit with me. If I got to record something, if I got to record a verse. Yeah. And the deadline is pretty close, and I'll just set up wherever I'm at and record the verse, make sure all the acoustics are good, and just do what I need to do. Okay. Nice, man. That's most definitely proper, you know what I mean? Like, the fact that you have the ability to do that and whatnot. You know, with portable studio. Like, people, like, people, you know, hey, I'm looking for somewhere to record. You know, so I'll record them and make a little bit of money and all that. So. Okay. Nice, man. So who's, like, you know what I mean? Like right now you work on an album. Who's, um, you can work with anybody. Who would be that dude? You know, dude, female, group, band. Yeah, like who's your dream? Like, you mean like producer wise? Anything, man. Producer, singer. Like, when it comes to like Anything. producers, man, I, I can't just say one person. Okay. You know, I work with, I definitely work with Pharrell. Yeah. I work with LP. I think that would be crazy. Right, right, right. Like Aesop Rocks, like uh, kind of guitar, guitar only, uh, instrumental. I like those. Okay. Um, you know, um, why is my life? Even Dr. Dre, like, Nice. Yeah. Um, I gotta make a name soon. Rappers. Um, you know, Royce 5'9 is one of my favorite rappers. Yeah, hands down, Royce Dope. Oh, 
Robert's oh, definitely that dude. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh man. Uh, shit. B-O-B. Yeah. B-O-B. He's nice. The new shit that he's been putting out was real nice. You know. Um, you know, I and there's shit home, homegrown kind of. Yeah. You know, well, I've worked with that. I need work with Tony Williams. You know. Yeah. No doubt. No doubt. Really? Yeah. No yeah. doubt. So what's what's next on the docket? What's the next moves for you? Next. Mm -hmm. What's coming up? Promoting uh, November 8th. Um, my uh, November 8th, the five uh, Deadly Venoms EP series drops. Okay. Proper, proper. Like Sam, so you got, you got Roots, the Centipede, uh, you got Anonymous, the Snake, you got BNB, the Toad, uh, Kaka, the Lizard. That's a rap name. I'm not joking about that. Kaka. Kaka. Like, she's yeah, the shit. Yo! The shit. Right, there you go. That's what's up. You guys know, yo, I was talking about, like, a homie, like, a couple and weeks ago. And I said Kaka to them, and they're like, what the fuck you just say? I'm like, you know, like, who? Yeah. Yeah. It's universal. Like, what who calls who? It's universal. Kaka. I really don't know. That's, 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 that's why people need to know in history. And I'm like, what? Why does he like an alien? And so you just said that? I'm like, I'm not the only one who uses Kaka. There's all kinds of witcher shit, man. As a kid, my, my parents used to say that when they had a younger kid over. No, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Nice way to say shit. My, yeah, yeah, man. My girl says that to the to the people in the retirement home she works and don't speak yeah. English. Hey, a caca? No. She, she. Universal thing. All right, I wish I remember she, she, which one of my answers was because I punch him in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you all fucked up. Oh, fuck. With horse shit. Ah. It's that's like the, it's a step below getting raped by the horse. Alright. Oh, okay. 